Hello everyone. Today I wanted to make a video uh, talking about uh, the heated bed that I'm going to be using. Um, I made a video uh, some time ago of using an uh, infrared uh, um, heated uh, layer uh, that are used for heating floors in the houses. So this heated uh, bed or heated uh, layer are AC input. So you need to attach AC, whatever is 110 or 220 volts, depending uh, where you're located. And uh, you can heat it uh, up to 80 or 60, depending, depending the uh, technology that you're going to be using. But not more than that because they are used for heating floors so, so you don't want to uh, heat it uh, so much so usually they go between 40 and 60 and i i saw some at 80 but are for special uh, purpose and uh, they're relatively cheap because they uh, come with their in a roll and they go by the meter uh, you can buy even smaller ones, but I think the 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 minimum, uh, if I don't want to mistake, is fifty centimeter. I thought there are some other smaller, but the shape is not uh, uh, usual uh, for our use case. So, in my case, my bed is sixty uh, centimeter large and hundred and twenty centimeter long so i could find one that fits and i couldn't actually cut uh, without uh, uh, any problem so the only difference is that uh, it needs to be uh, run by ac so how do i run by ac is by using a solid state uh, relay uh, attached to the board and it's a similar concept that I uh, already used for attaching, for example, the uh, thermistor, not the thermistor, the heater uh, resistors for the uh, heating block for the extruders. So we attach to, um, to the heater, heaters uh, some MOSFETs, and when you need to uh, heat the heating block you uh, give a signal to the MOSFET the MOSFET opens up and lets uh, current go through from the power supply directly to the thermistor and then you have the feedback loop of the uh, uh, temperature to close the loop when you reach the uh, temperature that you're assigned to the uh, heater block so for the heated bed, it's the same thing, but you need to use a solid state relay because you're dealing with AC. So basically on the uh, Manta M8P uh, board and the clipper configuration, we need to figure out what pins to be using. So on the left side of the board, uh, there are the pins that are going to be used to give uh, uh, give the uh, heated bed uh, the signal which are these guys here uh, bed output let me let me oh, sorry let me highlight it it's this guys here on, on the bottom okay so basically here I'm going to be attaching the uh, solid state relay and uh, the solid state relay then goes through from the power supply, the AC part of the sub power supply, it gets the uh, power um, and the ground. And then you attach uh, one side of the solid state to the uh, heated um, the heated bed, okay? As a, a thermistor to measure the temperature for the bed, I'm going to be using uh, this guy down here, 
is the THP no, so the pin is PA0 so I have these two uh, output PB7 a PA0 so if I go back to the configuration the clipper configuration file for the Manta M8P up here I set the heater bed with a heater pin at PB7 so this controls the uh, the heated bed and the sensor pin so for the trimester is PA0 okay uh, the sensor type is a generic uh, thermistor and then control uh, minimum temperature zero and maximum temperature at 80 degrees most likely this will change probably 70 or 60 so it's pretty simple you set the pins for the heater the sensor thermistor uh, and then the sensor type what are you so in this case a heated bed use an external MOSFET actually let me correct this but it's a, a solid state relay and let me which has a similar function to the MOSFET okay but it's for AC so let me indent this guy and that's it it's very simple uh, and it's not difficult to implement the only thing is that uh, I'm going to deal with AC so I need to be very careful um, and the solid state relay are uh, pretty cheap I think I paid mine five bucks because you don't use much uh, amperage because you're using 220 volts uh, so you have a, a enough uh, voltage to to drive the bed and usually the bed are th two, 300, 400 watts per uh, square meter so mine is uh, yeah, so it's 120 by 600 so it's almost a two, two square meters so so I'll be using like 700, 800 watts, something like that, or maybe a, a bit less. So we'll see how it goes. So uh, that's it. So if you like the video, please leave a like, uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting more configurations and more uh, videos for my custom 3D printer in the coming weeks and uh, i'll see you on next video bye bye